Come on in, come on in, come on in. All geeks are welcome in this space. Let's learn together and seek his face. I'm Lem Philyaw, a.k.a. Bad Gamer Elite. That right there is Alex Baum, a.k.a. I Am Balmer. And this is Faith in Film, the podcast where we meet at the intersection of our geeky film loves and passions and our faith. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we leave on the cutting room floor. Alex, what are you up to, buddy? Oh, I, uh, I'm i having a pretty nice, easy day, uh, enjoying the end of summer. And that's pretty different from uh, everyone, really, everybody in the movie that we watch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we were joking. <laughs> we were joking earlier, you guys, because the movie that we watched is... Harry Potter and... The Goblet of Fire. <laughs> yes, Goblet of Fire. <laughs> I, I have a, a little note here that has a different title in it, and I'll, I'll get I'll get back to that okay. in a second. But we, uh, but we 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 were joking around today because we were like, the whole series is titled what? <laughs> It's Harry Potter and the bad thing happens. <laughs> Harry Potter and the bad thing happens. That's exactly what it is. Uh, um, oh, uh, it, or, or alternate title, Harry Potter and it's all Voldemort's fault. <laughs> yeah. uh, man, but this is one of my absolute favorite movies. Yes. Absolute favorite movies. There are people that don't like Goblet. They don't like the book of Goblet. They prefer Prisoner. Prisoner, it tends to be one of the uh, most popular ones. Um, but I love Goblet um, because you get to see. I think I had mentioned. Go ahead, finish oh, no. your thing. You get, you get to you get to see more of the Wizarding World, right? Like, and even if you're reading the books, you get to read more about the different parts of the uh, Wizarding World. And I, I think that's just amazing. It's not just contained in Scotland. Um. Yeah, and I think when we, I think it was on the choosing video stream podcast, whatever, I had mentioned that I, it's my least favorite. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> it, this one, it's it's one of my favorites. Um, number six is up there also. Yeah. Um, number five is the one I was thinking of, where it, it's Harry Potter and the hormones. <laughs> Um, that's order of the phoenix right yeah yes yeah yeah so harry potter uh, and the hormones of the phoenix <laughs> yes yeah. um and yeah so i have order of the phoenix written down here and i don't have goblet of fire anywhere on my screen right now and i was like wait what is it for real <laughs> harry potter and the goblet of fire yeah um and yeah yeah. So uh, I, I, I don't remember. I, I, I know I talked about it uh, before we started recording um, about what happened with me. And I'm pretty sure I did not. I haven't spoken about that yet. Um, so, uh, go ahead. yeah, Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the bad things happen. Or, yeah, Harry Potter and the bad thing happens and the bad thing happens again. <laughs> and Harry Potter and the. Oh, guess what? More bad stuff. That sounds a lot like a certain guy in the Bible's life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were, I started this, I started this movie. And by the way, for those that are old school, yes, I did watch the whole movie. <laughs> but um, I was, I, I, I started the movie. And I got about 30 seconds in, as I do, and I usually have my first, oh my gosh, this is something I could talk about. And I really believe that God said, oh, you know how you can expand on that? And I was like, oh, of course you had a great idea, God. Let's keep going with that. <laughs> so I started, I kept writing, and I kept writing, and I kept researching, and I kept writing. 
And before you know it, Alex, I had read through the entire book of Job. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. That's- we can- and so I my point there, I am I'm saving that. That's going to be a whole episode to itself. I am going to record that separately. Uh we're going to have some uh some fun with it. I've got lots of notes. I've got Lots of references. Uh, but then I, I messaged Alex and I said, yeah, I'll have some other points. They won't be as fleshed out as this. And I'm going to feel like I'm chintzing you guys. But, <laughs> you know, it's going to be like not a, not a great thing. But, yeah. But also, like, you know this movie back and forth and yes. upside down. Um, I know the book you know even, too. Oh, my gosh. Love the books. Oh yeah, it. I um. Was. I think the series does a really, really good job. The movie series does yeah. a really good job of, kind of having you forget about the books, or like it. It feels very complete. The stories that the movies tell. Right. And. Not very often, watching them, do you feel like. Oh, there's so much from the book that is just gone. Well, for me, like, I think that there's one character in particular that with them missing, they did a good job covering up they were missing. That's how, that's how I look at it. I still, prefer, I still prefer the read, and I actually watched most of the movies before I read the books, and I'm so glad about it. Uh, because then I was able to kind of shift, be like, oh, wow, okay, I can see how they got from there to there in the movie, but this was so much cleaner in the books, and it was so much more compelling in the books. Um, but the one character that they leave out in the series is Peeves. Peeves the poultry oh, guy. Yeah. And he yep. is so, oh, my goodness. There is so much that he does that explains so much. So, yeah. And there, there's other little things that, okay, I get it, but. It, like the, uh, the everyday living. Yeah. Is what you get so much more of in the books. Yes. And the movies are like, it, it it's the action. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah and I mean, with them. If, if you, if you haven't read the books, you guys, uh, and you're not a reader, there are these things called audio books. And you have a choice of two amazing uh, voice actors and act, actually actors that will that read them for you. If you get the British version or the UK version of it, you get Stephen Fry, Ooh. the voice of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And if you get the American version, you get Jim Dale, the guy who did well over, I want to say, 150 voices for these books. So you, you're not missing. Either way, either way. You're, it's it's gold, absolute gold. Um, that's about half of what like Hank Azaria has done for the Simpsons. <laughs> <I think. laughs> yes, and, um, yes. Oh, and then there's the other guy. I can't think of his name. He was the pirate in Dodgeball, and he voices like everything. He was um oh, oh yeah K two S O Steve Pirate Steve is that Billy so, yeah. Billy something? No, it's not Billy. Billy no. does fry. Anyway, yeah, Billy <laughs> yeah sorry, <laughs> girl. Um, so uh, with this movie though, I um re- was a little bit disappointed. Or, like today, this is yeah. Uh, so what a decade almost 20 years after it came out. Uh, I felt a little disappointed at what the beginning of it, how it jumps right into the uh, Quidditch World Cup. And they, the movie does a great job of showing like the, the awe. Um, uh, I had a couple more words. The There's splendor? like that awe and yeah, of when they, um, of seeing like the, it's the world but it's champions yes. or championship. So you have, uh, as you said, one of your favorite things about this uh, entry 
is that expansion of the wizarding world. Yeah. And it's the same for those characters of like, that's their first experience of international, um, anything. Yeah. And Her- then, Herm- uh, Hermione and, 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 uh, and Harry in particular, you know, I'm sure that and, the, the Weasleys have had experiences because, you know, dad works for the ministry. It's like, you know, he might not be, you know, the top dog at the ministry, but Arthur's got some pull. <laughs> um, and yeah, especially like when they go into the tent. Yes. Um, and Harry is like above all that grandeur and awe that he's experiencing. He's like, I love magic. Yeah. He's like, uh, okay. He, he knows tents. From being a yep. you know living in the Muggle world, you know we've uh, uh we we've worked life fest together and we've had to camp at one point, and uh, man, um, <laughs> yeah. our tent wasn't like that. <laughs> yeah, but then when you step into a camper for the first time, especially the ones where. It's like the bus or whatever that yes. the sides expand yes. and the top tops up and the top pops up. Not yeah. <laughs> Not, um, yeah. It's like, how does that all fit in there? Yeah. That's what we have now, by the way. Uh, when the when the Alex inside. and I are at, uh, at, uh, at Life Fest, we, we have a camper. One of our, one of our buddies, uh, the, uh, one of the police sergeants we know uh, that I know, he lends me his camper. Every year for Life Fest, and it's – oh, he said we're not getting it next year, by the way, just so you know. Okay. Uh, we are okay. getting a, his new one next year. <laughs> he literally typed that to me. <laughs> Sorry, it's not going to be there oh, next man. year. You're getting my new one. Oh, God. All right. Shots. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What um, you were saying, magic, yeah. awe. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't have much of a point with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, the international bit of it, though. Yeah. So unity and teamwork. Um, this was big uh, on my mind recently with the Olympics going on. Mm, yeah. And I love that. Like, I grew up as uh, as an athlete never really that good but still athletics was the biggest part of my life and so i've always loved you know that every four years you have the best of the best of the best in the world coming and competing yeah and um from everything from gymnastics to to volleyball to break dancing it's yep to horse dancing and um, <laughs> something that stood out for me though this year, or that maybe it just hit me more this year was the um, camaraderie. And mm. uh, even though these athletes are like from different countries, seeing them interact there at the finish line or at the end of a bout and all hugging and congratulating each other and like their their peers. Yeah. And from different yeah, countries and that, some and some countries that have conflict with each other. Yes. Yeah, and it like taking those um, you know, geopolitical leaders out of it and being like we're we're people. At the end of the day, we are people and we are seeing how um how far we can push these bodies of ours. Yeah. And um, how how much we can compare all this time that we have spent practicing and mastering our craft. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, that that love, I I love seeing that. And uh, we see that a lot through this movie as well. Um, that teamwork. Yeah. Um, Whether it, have, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, sorry. You go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. From when, like, um, when they're all in the the Great Hall and the Bow Battens and Durmstrang comes in and the um, and Barty Crouch, 
I, I forget his official title. It was like Minister of International Cooperation. Yes. Something like that. And, yeah. Uh, and then you see it on a small level, too, throughout of people helping each other. Um, early on, Harry, well, Harry gets help from Ron that the first challenge are, is dragons. Yes. And then. Well, Ernie, no, no, it Ernie was, it was, uh, Pavardi had told Dean who told, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Ron, it, it really didn't come through that because Ron knew, and even though he wasn't speaking to Harry. Yeah. He helped out. Yeah. And, um, yeah, constantly you see this helping out, um, mm-hmm. even between the competitors. Harry telling Cedric, Cedric telling Harry about another one. Um, Harry rescuing Fleur's sister. I feel like I'm just like I'm just doing spoilers <laughs> for the after look, spoiler right now. Look, if you haven't seen it yet, I mean, after ten years, I think we we we're good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I and. The other thing is, it's not, it's, it's everybody's helping each other out. They're living that, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you are, Kane. You are your brother's keeper. You know, it's, it's, it's the loving your neighbor, right? Yeah. It, uh, it's but, the different parts of the body of Christ. Yes. It's, so, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Um, cause like nobody, uh, 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 nobody knew, uh, how to, how Harry was going to be, uh, being, un- uh, get underwater. Right. How, how was he going to breathe underwater? Neville. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an, and o- an offhanded even... comment. <laughs> and actually, if you go back, um, uh, to like before the first task, Neville is talking about this new book that he has. Like yeah. Neville and Harry are just kind of hanging out by the water, or whatever. And Neville's geeking out on this new botany book that he got. And that was where he found out about the gillyweed being um doing what it does in the movie. In the movie, I, we're gonna have those people that very like in the book. That's not how it happened. Like, we understand in the movie. Um, so um so my my connection my my biblical connection with this is uh uh in from first corinthians chapter 12 uh talking about the body of christ and um yeah it's in chapter 12 i have the the section was a little bit rambling and confusing so i took some like verses and skip some and so, took a few so we others. Look at, and yeah, I'm, look at chapter 12. I'm going to kind of summarize it anyway. Of, of, in fact, the body is not one member, but many. It, many members, yet one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Um, all of the pieces of the body together make up the body and if they were all the same the body wouldn't be what it is exactly we have and, like I, I, um, for instance at at life promotions we have different departments right um we have different ministries uh dignity revolution goes into our public schools where god games and geekery doesn't necessarily do that but that doesn't mean that god games and geekery while we do something almost every day of the week whether it be on our social media or whether it be in, you know, live or whether it be study buddy on, you know, Tuesdays where we're hanging out and keeping each other uh, going um, or in the discord. It doesn't mean that because Dignity Revolution might do something three times a week, you know, or, you know, maybe, maybe 10 times a month, maybe, let's say, um, depending on who is available. Um doesn't mean that it's not important. It's, you know, and just because uh, it has a, it does have a larger reach than God Games and Geekery. That doesn't mean that there's not something that we're doing 
that helps uh, during the revolution. You know, quake is a certain time of year, right? The quake, uh, our quake events are a certain time of year, but they are so impactful um, yeah, to yeah. different people in different cities uh, around the the U.S. Just because Life Fest isn't only Oshkosh doesn't make that any less important, right? So, yeah, I, I, I fully agree um, that we as the body need to recognize uh, recognize that, right? Recognize the importance of us all. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and just like we work together in supporting each other, um, like there's the literal of that, and then there's like a, a counseling kind of supporting. Um, so like acknowledging and sharing pain is the next mm. kind of theme or, or part that I got. So uh, some verses I have, Romans 12, chapters 15 through 17. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. Hmm. Um, I love like that. Reading it again, it's like those are that's so like on the point, and that's awesome. Yeah, I love those verses. Absolutely. Um. I was, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off. I want to hold these. I want to let you keep. I'm gonna let you cook, because right. I've got the I got some points, but I think I want to save these for our quick weekly podcast uh, uh, devos. I'm gonna save these. Okay. Can't wait to record them though. Oh my god, the decent That's... points. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'm I'm excited to hear them and like. You'll have to give me a little sneak peek after. I mean, after we're done recording, I hope. I mean, maybe. <laughs> um, sharing pain. So, at the end of the movie, um, you have the um, the final task or whatever is going through the labyrinth, and it, it's the super bad, super scary task. Yeah. And you have, um, like, everyone from all three schools, but then you have a bunch of the public that there's there, that is there, too, Yeah. to watch this. And uh, they can't really see what's going on, though, in this labyrinth. Yeah. And at the end, uh, Harry and Cedric come out, and everybody is cheering. Like, all right, the competition is done. We have a victor, or we have two victors. And then, uh, so you have that that shared um, shared joy. Even the other um, other schools are cheering that it, it's done, and yeah. these guys got through it. But then that cheering turns to like worry and despair. Yeah, when realizing that Cedric has died. Um, and I loved. Dumbledore's little uh, soliloquy about this as he was addressing everybody uh, a few days later, or whatever. Yeah, at the end of the school uh, year. They, yeah. yeah, they basically like, held a memorial for Cedric. And so he said, while we may come from different places and we speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one. In light of recent events, the bonds of friendship you made this year will be more important than ever. Remember that, and Cedric Diggory will not have died in vain. You know, we we what some folks don't re realize, um, Cedric is a Hufflepuff, right? And the people people that are semi into Harry Potter, though, oh, you never want to be a Hufflepuff. Well, these days it's actually something different, but <laughs> like, oh, you never want to be a Hufflepuff because they're the lamest. Ooh, they're the lame ones. Well. The thing about Hufflepuffs is their loyalty. Uh, Hufflepuffs are the 
good neighbors. They're the ones that are about being fair, about being kind. Um, and we all struggle with that sometimes. And if you watch the movie, Cedric struggled that too, with that too. When in that maze, he was about to take Crumb out. But Harry, again, with the trying to, who's my neighbor, look at him. He's not in his right mind. So they stunned him, right? And to me, that, again, this is me with my point out of the blue, not anything I wrote, because we were just talking about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> our neighbor, whether they are attacking us or not, we are commanded to love them. Yes. And that might mean stopping them and harming you or others, but not taking it to the extreme where you are intentionally harming them. Not like a, a revenge thing. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I just, I, I, I love that that was still on the top of Harry's mind. And after that, Cedric was back to loving my neighbor, taking care of my neighbor, because, hey, together. Yeah. We're getting this for Let's grab this. Hogwarts. Yes. Uh -huh. Yep. And then bad stuff happens. And then bad stuff happens. <laughs> like the worst bad stuff. Yeah. Um Yeah, it it yeah. Whew. Um that would be a great place to close. I have one more tiny point that should have been to start with. Um and we talked a lot about it uh last episode uh with with Jumanji, that dealing with unwanted tasks. Yes. Like that reluctant hero. And we see that really apply here at the beginning where Harry doesn't want to compete in this. He's like, I have had enough excitement already. <laughs> <from my life." laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, um, in the book, it literally says calmly <laughs> and softly. <laughs> So just you put the, your name in there. I don't know if the uh, who who who's to uh, at fault with that one, whether it's the actor or the director. But ever since <laughs> then, ever since my wife and I saw it, he has always been angry Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> I think first Dumbledore was the premier Dumbledore. That's just yeah. <laughs> Um, but you were saying, I'm sorry, I interrupted. No, all good. And I got distracted by some fuzz on my keyboard. <laughs> um, so that, uh, the biblical connection I got with yeah. that, uh, a little bit different than, um, what we had talked about last time of, I think we talked about Gideon. We talked about Jonah. Yes. Um, they're actually, okay. So this verse is, it's from Jesus as he, um, on the eve of his death, he's praying in the garden and his prayer is father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Mm. And uh, I, who knows? The original translation might have been "Take this goblet away from me." Mm. But uh, yeah, I'm quite sure Harry would have at least the first part of it. Like, yeah, take this cup away from me. Yeah. And, um, but as the competition goes on, he's like, "I look. I'm, I'm here. I got to do a thing. thing. If I'm, I'm not, yeah. I'm not gonna just like." You know, flake out because I don't. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. You're not gonna do it. He's Harry Potter, baby. 
<laughs> Gryffindor. I I, was, <laughs> I I saw that what you were saying like it auto finished in my head and it was a little different. I'm just leave it at that. <laughs> oh yeah. So Harry Potter and the finally someone dies <laughs> book. Movie. Somebody died already. How many more need to die? Everyone. His parents died. It. <laughs> well, yeah, but <laughs> so this did stick out with me as um, when I first read the books of like books are it. It's always resolved well. Yeah. Like it. Um. Yeah. It. Everyone's good at the end of the day, and. Next week, it it's fine. The episode is back to normal. Yeah, it doesn't matter that Springfield ha- burned half of it down, or that you know the a monorail went bad, and like things are back to normal. The next episode, yep. and with um, the fact that you have a a fairly major character die, yeah, with this book, it I I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of uh, really cheered for that, or I loved that it happened. Because it, it told me, like, all right, this series is, it's going to play it real. It's not. Go- oh, I think we lost Alex a little bit. But I think he was about to say that it's, it's not going to, they're not going to play it super safe. They're not going to uh, do with the trope of good guys always win. No. Good guys might always win, but they have losses as well. Yes. So it it turns out the way it's supposed to in the end. Yeah. But it's gonna be really tough. There's a price all the way there. There's a price to be paid. Just like yes. we know the end. As children of God, we know the end. We know that He's got us. But you know. Jesus had to be crucified. People had to get eaten by lions. You know, their lions' uh, mouths were shut. Yeah, yeah. Um, Not in Rome, though. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, good point. Yeah. Um, Like atrocities. One guy was lucky. Yeah, atrocities happened, you guys. But and on it. Honestly, they're still happening. And, yeah, uh, absolutely still happening. All around the world. But we know God's got it. God's got us. And you can all you can find that message, that message message of redemption, that message of faith, that message of love in so many of our geeky passions. So Yes. I want you to join us next time for another God Games and Geekery. Hey, I am Bad Gamer Elite. That. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Wait, wait. What? What? You can't wrap up quite yet. Why not? What are we doing for the next episode? I don't know. What are we doing in the next episode? That's a good question. Uh, so it's back to school. Like, kids will be back to school by the time of the next episode. Yes. So I figured we should do something of like. Of going back to childhood. And so let's do Hook. <laughs> you are doing Robin Williams uh, marathon, aren't you? Because <laughs> those are both of your first picks were Robin Williams movies. <laughs> it Both of them have had like a, a very apt thing to tie them into the moment. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't say Jack. At all. Have you seen Jack? Oh, no. I No, that one makes me angry. Yeah. Because I saw it. I was like, uh, I don't know if I was like eight or ten years old. Yeah. And all of the previews for it were like, oh, hey, this funny, goofy guy. Oh, no. Like a kid. And so I begged my mom, and she took me and my younger brother to see it. And it's it's this drama this sad yeah super sad movie it's like i mean there were funny parts in it but man they, there was some stuff it, it was the same five minutes worth of funny stuff as they used in all the previews <laughs> all the trailers yes all right so it, 
Hook. So, good movie. Yes. Hook, Hook, also a great movie. Uh, we'll be back with Hook in a couple weeks. Um, these will be coming out once a month, you guys. So they're not going to be out weekly or bi-weekly. Uh, we're saving content. <laughs> saving content. So which means that maybe somewhere in here we do a God and Games or a Music and the Message. Maybe we throw some up in there. But for now, can I, can I close it up now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, thank you all. For, I'm going to hook you back in. Uh, uh, thank you guys for being here. I'm Bad Gamer Elite. That is I Am Palmer. You are loved. Because remember, Jesus loves you. So do I. So does that guy. And always, always, always leave people better than you found them. Cut. <laughs>